We looked over every centimeter of those tunnels, Shepard. Your Cerberus pal is made out of smoke and mirrors. But these are tunnels, right? Just one exit and one entrance. No, that keeper tunnel from the elevator lobby led into the superstructure. Once you're in there, the place is like an ant farm. We can't even get an ID on him. He released a VI into the Citadel system that erased footage of him wherever he went. I guess he didn't trust that Udina's plan would come together. That reminds me, we got your friend Thane into Huerta Memorial. He's in for surgery. Apparently, uh, there's complications. Do you think he'll make it? I caught that they didn't have much drill blood on the Citadel. I notified his next of kin, his son, Koliat. He was the right blood type, but I don't know if he made it in time. We're pretty sure the route to the hospital is safe from Cerberus, if you want to see him. Uh, I'd go now. I'll get on it. Oh, and you can tell him the Salarian counselor says he's a hero. It just, uh, I don't know, make things easier for him? Uh, so many pieces to put back together since the Cerberus attack. We're reeling from the implications. Udina in league with Cerberus trying to murder the Council. These are dark days for all of us. Thought you'd be in the hospital. If I'm breathing, I'm working. Probably the worst I've ever been hurt. Fitting, I guess, given the state of the galaxy. But if Cerberus thinks a few slugs is gonna keep me out of action, they've got another thing coming. Can this station be defended? The internal security breaches have been patched, but we're dangerously low on manpower. We're grilling our own people and trying to figure out if Udina acted alone, but it's time-consuming. All in all, we're still vulnerable, but I think we've taken the right steps. All that time you were working for Udina, did you ever suspect? Always rubbed me a little wrong. Still, that traitorous bastard upped me. Probably made me for an idiot. <laughs> I guess I proved him right. He's dead and you're still here, Bailey. <laughs> Thanks to you. If you hadn't shown up, Udina and Cerberus would be dancing on my grave. How does the Citadel fit into the war now? Uh, the war finally found us. This is so far beyond our imagination, and we have been trained to expect the unexpected. Since the coup attempt, folks are shutting down and shutting in. I hear a lot of praying. And crying. They're saying this is the war to end all wars. Well, I haven't seen anything to say they aren't right. You hear anything about your family out there? Not a peep. I always believed I'd get a chance to tell my ex-wife a few things. And my kids on Earth. I was supposed to visit them. First vacation in years, but I had to cancel when I got promoted. Don't give up hope, Bailey. Thanks, Shepard. I'm really trying not to think about it. I'll leave you to it, then. I'm here if you need me. My wife was just sent back to active duty, and I'm about to get shipped out, too. I was told you might be able to help me. Of course. You're a Neotis spouse, correct? I... yes. How did you know that? We keep identity information on all permanent Citadel residents engaged in formal relationships with Asari. That way, should anyone require diplomatic aid, we can ensure prompt assistance. That's wonderful. Then you can help me send my daughter back to my wife's family? I... I'm afraid, however, that might be a bit difficult. They hit where? Damn it. How are we supposed to predict the moves of an enemy we don't understand? Divert to... Do we have any AI-enabled fragments to Sovereign? Any Reaper code I can analyze? No? Well, then they'll keep outmaneuvering our fleet, and Asari worlds will keep burning. Cerberus forces have attacked civilians on Benning. The Alliance has deployed units to defend the refugees during evacuation.
inspector status recognized. Please select a destination. One moment, please. Now arriving at Puerta no, I'm Memorial seeing it here, Hospital. too. We're low on Metagel and synthetic blood, and we don't have enough volunteers. If we could get the rings of a loom from the Salian Nebula, we could declare a cultural crisis. People would have to listen. No, they're not just symbolic. The Asari revere a loom. She wore these rings after learning medicine from a Thame herself. She was like a Dalatress for your people. If we displayed her rings, we'd get more Asari support in the hospitals. We tried to run, again, but we were blocked. And the farm girl? Her leg was broken, bleeding bad. I knocked down a wall in a barn with a big warp field. I was so proud of that. And we hid. They must have searched for you. I'm an Asari huntress. No damn husk is gonna find me unless I let it. But the farm girl who was with you? Her leg was broken. She was whimpering in an AI ride. I saw her through a hole in the boards. She was coming closer with those dead black eyes. And Hillary, the farm girl, she couldn't stop crying. They were gonna hear. What did you do? What do you think? Welcome to Serta. Be safe. There's got to be something. I don't know what Cerberus was packing, but we're going to lose this patient. Without a new treatment plan, we're stuck, and I can't think of anything beyond what we've already tried. I know, but I can't think of anything else. Can you? Looking for a Drell named Thane Krios? Well, we have a Drell, but not under that name. He was injured. Stab wound. He's a regular patient here. It's all right, it's all right. I see. The doctors were able to repair a lot of the trauma. However, Mr. Hmm. Krios is in the final stages of Keprel Syndrome. At its worst, Keprel Syndrome interferes with his blood's ability to carry oxygen. And he lost a lot. Now, they've given him transfusions, but frankly, there was a very limited supply of Drell blood on the Citadel. I'll get more. Give me his blood type. That's not going to work. Only one other Drell on the station is a match, and that Drell is in with him now. We did all we could to help him through surgery, but his body can't replace lost blood with new cells. Too much shock. His son, Koliat, he's in there saying his goodbyes. You might want to say yours. Commander Shepard, my father mentioned you were no longer incarcerated. I don't know if you remember me. I'm Koliak Krios. I came to donate blood and, well, he asked me to take off his oxygen mask so he could be comfortable. I don't think it will be very long. Your father helped me save a lot of lives. I'd like to be here. Of course. Commander, I'm afraid I won't be joining you again. You've done more than enough, Thane. That assassin should be embarrassed. A terminally ill Drell managed to stop him from reaching his target. I'll pass the word along. There is something I must do before it gets worse. I must...
Kalahira, mistress of inscrutable depths, I ask forgiveness. Kalahira, whose waves wear down stone and sand. Kalahira, wash the sins from this one and set him on the distant shore of the infinite spirit. You speak as the priests do. You have been spending time with them. I brought a prayer book. Commander, would you care to join me? Kalahira, this one's heart is pure but beset by wickedness and contention. Guide this one to where the traveler never tires, the lover never leaves, the hungry never starve. Guide this one, Kalahira, and she will be a companion to you as she was to me. last verse say she the prayer was not for him commander he has already asked forgiveness for the lives he has taken his wish was for you goodbye Thane you won't be alone long we to choose who lives or dies. That's not what we do. We help our patients, all of them. That's a nice sentiment, but it won't help when we run out of supplies. I've seen this happen in combat before. And we will run out of supplies. Have you seen the projections the administration center made? I have. The situation is going to get worse. What's your point? We can't deny the facts. If we prioritize them, some of our patients are in a much better position to survive. If we take care of them first and ration our supplies, we can save some now and enable ourselves to save more later. We cannot do that. We swore an oath to help the sick regardless of their economic situations or their places in society. Who are we to choose who lives or dies? That's not what we do. We help our patients, all of them. That's a nice sentiment, but it won't help when we run out of supplies. I've seen this happen in combat before. And we will run out of supplies. Have you seen the projections the administration center made? I have. The situation is going to get worse. What's your point? We can't deny the facts. We're fighting right now to protect the people you're talking about. If you let these people die, that fight is for nothing. It's not that simple. If we aren't careful about this now, we'll end up losing everyone. Then we'll find a way. Look, we have more fortunate patients, right? Yes, and I hate to say it, but the fortunate ones have far better survival odds. (sighs) And more credits. So we ask them for donations, to get more supplies for those without credits. What? Are you saying what I think you're saying? That's... You know, that that actually might work. your own generals. He was stabbed with a poisoned blade by a Cerberus soldier during the attack on the Citadel. We can't identify the toxin. We're barely keeping him alive right now. It's some form of neurotoxin. If you could look at our charts... Of course, I understand. Even a general is just one man. Good luck.
In addition to your medical discharge, the government wants to give you a medal. The intel you provided when that shuttle finally found you, you saved a lot of lives. And I killed those farmers. They were indoctrinated. You had to defend yourself. And as for Hillary... Oh, you idiot. When I took a shower and left my gun in the bedroom, I killed them. Hey, Ira. At least she can blame the Reapers. But I'm just... Me. The color on my eyes. Did they turn back after? Could I get that gun now? I'll see what I can do. Status recognized. Please select a destination. One moment, please. Now arriving at Presidium Commons. Can't believe how hard the doctors are working to keep that terrorist bastard alive. He's in intensive care? He got blasted by Cerberus. They think he's just another victim. Another Cerberus trap? Bomb or turret? How many this time? Clear the area until you've done a full sweep. We need a way to find their tech and shut it off safely. No, e crime still doesn't have anything. The tech they got off the bodies of a few Cerberus engineers self-destructed when they took it apart. Not much we can do, except pick up the pieces after another turret guns down on Mom and her kids. I just don't understand why you're suddenly so conflicted. Look, the asshole's in custody now. Killing him won't bring anyone back. It's about justice. The man is a traitor and a murderer. You saw what he did to your wife. To my husband. And didn't bat an eyelash. He's evil, there's no doubt. We have to keep enforcing the law. Same as always. Without that, everything goes to hell. Look at Palavin, my friend. We're in hell. We should be looking for terrorists. The rest can take care of itself. So the bar fights, the drunken disorderlies down by that purgatory place? How does cracking down on that crap help us win the war? People need to blow off steam right now. And how does letting the misdemeanors go help the war? Less time spent on the light stuff means the Citadel has more money for defense. Everyone on the Citadel knows we're at war now. Cerberus caught CSEC by surprise last time. You need to make sure that never happens again. That's what I'm saying. Forget the small stuff. Support defense and security and take down anyone who threatens the peace. You make it sound like we're under martial law. After a coup attempt during wartime, maybe we should be. Yeah. Maybe you're right. Commander Shepard, do you have a minute? Rules be damned. People have a right to defend themselves. If you start selling weapons to everyone on the Citadel, C-Sec will shut this whole place down. C-Sec couldn't protect us when Cerberus attacked. I'll take him to court. You think a court is going to want more people running with guns right now? Then I'll go to the wards and sell from the back room at Purgatory. People are already scared. If you violate weapons laws, they'll just be scared and trigger happy. Would a bunch of civilians shooting at anything that moves make the Citadel safer? The commander's right. Maybe if the Council organizes a civilian militia with training. Otherwise, they'll just panic and get themselves killed. I just... I just want people to be safe. I know, but second-guessing CSEC isn't the way. What if we submit a proposal to start a militia? Okay, that'd be something. Welcome to Agor Munitions. Remember, all purchases made by A. Welcome to Cipertine Armory. We appreciate your visit. Your credit report as AM Trading Limited. Mm. 
Hello, Shepard. Nice to see you. I missed this place. It's good to be off ship for a while. Hello again. Hello, Shepard. Welcome to the Citadel gift shop. All proceeds from today's purchases go toward the Turian War effort. Oh, that's a lovely idea. Welcome to Nosostra Sporting Goods. Thank you for shopping at Nosostra Sporting Goods. Oh, you're bonded with Turian? No, actually, my husband's a broken. Oh. Welcome to Casa Fabrication Weaponry. Casa Fabrication Weaponry hasn't forgotten Earth. Neither should you. Damn it. If we'd kept digging a few hours longer, we'd have gotten to Obelisk of Garza. Mm. I know the Hades next is off limits. I'm not an idiot. Damn it, the Alliance needs that thing right now. The Obelisk of Karza was supposed to contain Prothean language translations, like the Rosetta Stone for Protheans. Think of how much it could have helped us understand. Welcome to the Citadel gift shop. All proceeds from today's purchases go to the Turian War. Commander Shepard, do you have a minute? Can I help you? Jordan Knowles, E-Crimes. It's an honor to meet you, Commander. I've got a saboteur hacking key systems, power, communications. It's bad. If you've got time to help, check out this console. Got it. Looks like a collection of access codes. They're Batarian diplomatic codes, from back when they had an embassy on the Citadel. If you can use your Spectre access to find them, I can shut them down. I can access restricted intel at the Spectre office in the embassy. If I find anything, I'll let you know. I just don't understand why you're suddenly so conflicted. Look, the asshole's in custody. Killing him won't bring anyone back. It's about justice. The man is a traitor and a murderer. You saw what he did to These are control schematics for Cerberus turrets. Will these help? Damn right they will. I'll have E-Crimes dig into them. Might even help us find the little present Cerberus left for us. Thanks a lot. This is gonna save lives. If he's a terrorist, he ought to be locked up. He should be shot. Gorex wanted for six bombings. Six. Killed both humans and Batarians. He found his own people? Why? He was part of a terror cell. Picked crowded places. Voya, Omega. Doesn't matter to these asshole fanatics who gets blown up. No, the Krogan are the only race that can fight on the toxic world, so they need support. Well, ideally, something like a Cacleosaur. They're good in mountains, immune to toxins, ferociously loyal to their riders. Yes, they'd be ideal. Unfortunately, they were driven to extinction during the Rachni War. So, unless we can engineer something new, Krogan on toxic worlds will have to fight on foot without support. Doctor, I'd pull the plug. You don't want this guy dead. He could lead us to other suspects. Who's gonna have time to find them in the middle of a war? Listen, Gorik should be punished in a courtroom where people can see it happen. I want a society to get back to when this damn war is over. Whatever. Auto record on. Scene contains large scorch marks. Looks like three fatalities. Entire area shot to hell. Precision shots. I heard the Geth use jamming towers to prevent auto-targeting. 
If we attack like that, we might save some lives next time somebody attacks the Citadel. You want my security vids? Bring me a warrant. You're stonewalling me? Those vids could be vital for the war effort. I doubt the Reapers have agents doing business in my cafe. We're trying to protect you. Hell of a job you're doing. See those scorch marks? Cerberus killed one of my servers right there. Where were you? Hey, I lost friends too. If you care about finding the Cerberus informants who made it happen, you'll give me the vids. People are dying in this war. You don't get to use that as ammunition in your little pissing contest. Thanks, Commander. I'm trying to find Cerberus spies. Then you should be looking in your own office. Safety. I saw the news. Security. I know. Attention. Just you're right. Sorry. I lost some friends and I'm... I'll go through channels. If I hear anything, I'll let you know. Found another one. Yeah, the guys in Zakara did too. Disarmed there safely. No casualties. Nice work. I just don't understand why you're suddenly so conflicted. What's going on here? I'm in position at CSEC. Draw them away, and I'll move in and make the kill. Don't answer that. What's going on here? I'm in position at CSEC. Draw them away, and I'll move in and make the kill. Don't answer that. Commander Shepard. Guess I know what happened to my backup. Excuse me? Come on. I'm in C-Sec in civilian gear with a weapon. I know when I'm made. Just let me explain. Captain Aaron Summers, Alliance Marines, retired. Captain Summers? There's a prisoner here. C-Sec officer who helped Cerberus. C-Sec caught him when you stopped the coup. Now he's offering them intel on Cerberus to get a better deal. Why are you telling me this? Because he doesn't deserve a better deal. He killed people during the coup, good people. And he's former Alliance, like us. The way I figure it, he's our problem to fix. Tell me what this guy did to deserve death. He executed his own friends in cold blood for Cerberus. Cleared the path for their troops. Now he's saying he's a vet. And he was suckered in by talk of helping humanity. I don't know what intel he has, and I don't really care either. He dishonored the uniform. If you gun that man down, you're dishonoring the uniform just as much as he did. Like hell I am. I don't like plea bargains any more than you do. But the intel we get will save lives. Says who? Our superiors. The people we swore to serve and trust, Captain Summers. Yes, Commander. Sorry, Commander. I'll shut it down. Thanks. <laughs> So did you tell the refugee camp who Gorik really is? I tried. What happened? Uh, I didn't have any proof. Kinda got hot under the collar. You punched someone, didn't you? Listen, I thought of something. No, it can't wait until I'm back on duty. The Hesperia period. Their statues have legendarily accurate Perthian inscriptions. Can we use that? Yes, I know the Athena Nebula is off limits, but this... A classified project. It needs all the Prothean intel we can find. I haven't found any reliable pictures, but just think. If those statues had something that could help us, even today...
It's my money, and I'm closing my account. Your account helps fund Citadel Defense. If you shut it down and hide the money under your bed, it hurts the war effort. And if Cerberus attacks again and takes the Citadel, my money is gone. I'll take my chances on my own. Thank you. So you're fleeing the Citadel? Running to Sanctuary? If you trust the Council, you'll stay here. Why should I trust them? They couldn't stop Cerberus. What could they possibly do about the Reapers? Nothing if you take your money and hide. Have you seen Palavin? Or Earth? You can't escape this war. At least here you've got the Council fighting for you. But to fight, they need money. Money this bank has loaned them using accounts like yours. Okay. Okay, damn it. Leave the account open. Besides, how can some place like Sanctuary promise more safety than the Citadel? You're right. Guess all we can do is hope for the best. Welcome to Elkos Combine Arsenal Supplies. Thank you. Come again. Welcome to Kanala Exports. Kanala we Exports is pleased to visit. offer goods for security and peace of mind. Can't believe how hard the doctors are working to keep that terrorist bastard alive. He's in intensive care? He got blasted by Cerberus. Spectre status recognized. Please select a destination. One moment, please. Now arriving at Presidium Embassy. Look, I filled out all the forms you requested and jumped through every hoop. I don't even know where Neota is, and I'm gonna be deployed soon, too. Everyone's been called back to active duty since Earth was attacked. I understand, but... I can't leave my daughter here alone! I need to send her back to Thessia, to her family! These things are very complicated, and usually take a very long time. It's even worse with everything going on right now. I'm very sorry. If you can't accept a fostering by proxy until her file is processed, there's nothing more I can do. This is a problem, boss. Cerberus has changed their ciphers, and our codebreakers aren't getting anywhere at the moment. I've got our best teams working in shifts on it, but ensuring Citadel Systems' integrity is just gonna take time. If we can get some of their field encryption tools, maybe sample ciphers... I understand. Keep trying. Hey, Shepard. 
have to admit the place feels safer with you here. Everyone's walking around in a daze, or in my case, limping. And I wonder if we'll ever be the same. These are dark days for all of us. You got your work cut out for you. You and me both, Shepard. Knowles, this is Shepard. I found one of the code locations. Okay, I'll shut it down. Just need to authorize your Spectre status. Someone used this to cut off power to a dozen life support machines in the hospital. Okay, that access code is officially disabled. Can you find any more? Status recognized. One moment, please. Now arriving at ward level, Purgatory. Three. You do not understand. The code of the ancients is the collected wisdom of our people. With overwhelming sadness, it was lost when the Kuna fell. Without it, we lack the guidance we need. With certainty, we need the wisdom of our ancestors in these trying times. How's the head? Good. Concussion's almost gone. Good. When I heard you were injured. It was stupid. I should have ducked when that wall came down. Something good has come out of all this, though. Got new equipment. Sent me a set of Vortex armor. Man, summoning supplies sure messed that one up. Oh, I've heard those are pretty good. It's great. I'd only be safer inside a tank. It's why Vortex gear costs more than I make in a year. sacred texts on the ways of the Huntress, the defining works on the art of battle. But the Nimbus Cluster has already fallen, and our people are here dancing instead of fighting. I miss afterlife. Yeah, this place is so clean and squeaks. Anyhow, thanks for the drink. But why'd you drag me out here? You, uh, still got that merchant freighter? Yeah. Looking for work? Might as well. What you got? I'm curious, what material is your face made from? The surface is a flexible biomimetic nanomaterial over a metallic skull. The skin uses sheer thickening technology to help protect the central processing unit in the head. If the skin is struck or shot, it solidifies to absorb the impact. It also is capable of limited self-healing. And what about the hair? It is of similar construction. For defense, I have set it to cohere into a solid piece. However, for infiltration purposes, it can be parted into individual strands. If it has recently been exposed to water, I generally can't do a thing with it. If I'm not needed to answer an inquiry, I would like some time alone. Shepard, you made it. Come have a drink with me. 
You're looking happy. You had it right. Yesterday can't change. Tomorrow, we might all be dead. Today is what matters. I'm not wasting it. I wouldn't have thought a club would be to your tastes. You don't have to get all hot and bothered to appreciate graceful dancing. There's an energy here. There's light. And purgatory serves the best drinks. Here. To you, Steve. And to you, Shepard. A good friend when I needed one most. Thank you. For everything. I'll see you back on the Normandy. I'll see you back on the Normandy. If I'm not needed to answer an inquiry, I would like some time alone. Look at this! All it took was a Cerberus attack on the Citadel to get folks around here to pay attention to the war! How's this any different from normal? Can't you see the desperation? This isn't happy dancing. This is forget my problems dancing. Look at the arms. If a guy waves his arms like that, he's worrying about a lot more than looking stupid on the dance floor. That's surprisingly observant. I've had time to watch a lot of dancing from the sidelines. Speaking of which... Dancing? Watching from the sidelines. What do you think about me and Edie? You know, with all this interest in Edie, it's possible you've overlooked other options. Uh... I, I never really considered it, Commander. No offense. And now that you're considering it? I've served with you from the day you took command. I'd follow you into hell. But not into my quarters. Well, chain of command, Shepard. In an alternate dimension without military ranks, I would rock your world. But in this one, Edie? Well, yeah. What do you think? Why not? Because I could break a bone just from some light over the clothes action? That's always a risk. But then so are the Reapers. Yeah, I wasn't planning on dating Harbinger. You know what I mean. If we all ended up dead this time tomorrow, what would you regret? Getting a shattered pelvis and a broken heart. Such a stupid idea. If you could be out there right now on the dance floor, would you be waving your arms? Yeah. Sounds like you got bigger things to worry about than looking stupid. Yeah, guess I do. Now, if you'll excuse me, anything yet. That's a start. Haven't broken anything yet. That's a start. Briefing, Private. Let's fill you in before the squad arrives. The Alliance is posting us to an Ezo mining facility on Zani. It's a low-gravity planet. Toxic atmosphere. You'll be expected to maintain full survival gear. Any questions? Are we playing security, Sergeant Ollenby? 
No, Private. We are not. Knowles, I found another spot with the material. Holy crap. These are the remote navigation codes. Last week's crash at the docks, we thought it was an accident. Shepard, there were 117 Alliance soldiers on that ship. All human. Just like the patients at the hospital. So we've got Batarian codes and someone with a grudge against humans. Looks like... Okay. This code's offline now as well. Should just be one left, Commander. Spectre status recognized. Please select a destination. One moment, please. Now arriving at Dogging Bay E24. The galaxy Emergency needs to understand what these refugees have been through. Can't you let me in? No. I only need a couple of hours of footage. You're not crossing that dock. I heard that. Your drone's not sneaking in either. Wait, aren't you Commander Shepard? Solik Vas, documentary maker. Please, maybe you can help. I'm trying to document the stories of the refugees coming to the Citadel. Their loss, their sacrifices, their moments of bravery. Something holding you back? CSEC won't allow me on the docks. They say I'd be disruptive. But you could catch a few quick shots for me. There are lots of refugees on the rest of the Citadel. It won't have the same impact as seeing crowds trapped on the docks. We all need to help each other. I want this documentary to shock people into action. Good idea. The galaxy should see what these refugees have been through. Thank you, Commander. That's exactly what I'm hoping for. If you could just take a few shots with your Omni-Tool in the refugee camp. I'll be here when you're done. Please find me when you have enough footage, Commander. I'll be here. Refugees. Yes, that's just what this documentary needs. I'm sorry, but that's not quite what I had in mind. What are you doing here? I'm waiting. Waiting? Waiting for who? Oh, for my parents. They put me on the rescue transport and said to wait for them here. They'll come find me as soon as they can. Well, I guess this is the safe of the place. Look, if anyone bothers you, let me know. I'll take care of them, okay? Sure thing, sir. Thanks. I can't really use that. Could you try again, please? Great shot, Commander. I need support. Someone sabotaged the Metagel dispensers, and I've got some idiot preaching about Cerberus down here. No, I've contacted CSEC. They said it's not a priority and it doesn't matter. What matters is that I've got Turian soldiers dying for lack of medication. Shepard! You saved my life again. What happened? Cerberus troopers came through here to secure the docks. They lined us all up. Then, one of them started asking around for me by name. But they didn't find you. Their record said I went off-grid. If I hadn't changed my identity, I don't know what would have happened. Thank you. Thanks for checking in on me. It's nice to see you. I don't think that will quite fit the documentary's tone. Excellent. That will really get people's attention. Thank you, Commander. That should be enough footage. Come meet me again when you're able. Cerberus wants our help. And if Cerberus is good enough for Commander Shepard... It should be good enough for us. Oh, for the love of... Commander Shepard, it's me, Conrad Werner. Wow, it's great to see you again. I joined Cerberus, too. 
Conrad, Cerberus just tried to kill the Council. I'm not working with them. Oh no. I screwed up again, didn't I? Just... I'm sorry if I ever accused you of pointing a gun at me when you didn't actually do that. I was really stressed out. I heard the Metagel dispensers have been sabotaged. Was that you? What? No. No, Cerberus just asked me to recruit people near the medical station. Which was sabotaged while you had everyone distracted. Oh. Oh, wait. 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 No. I'll deal with it. Just don't do anything. Okay. But I might be able to help you with... Uh, whatever you're doing now that isn't Cerberus. Conrad, I'm building an ancient Prothean dark energy device to stop the Reapers. Can you help with that? Well, I did write my doctoral dissertation on xenotechnology and dark energy integration. Really? Yes. In fact, I may be able to find some ancient tech schematics that could help you with construction. Hang on. I have an old contact. Ah, oh, come on, Hossel. Help me out. Sorry. The war has him scared. Hossel? Gavin Hossel, the tech researcher? I did him a favor once. Tell him this is for me. I had no idea you two knew each other. Small universe. Okay, he's forwarding the schematics over. Oh no, it's in an ancient Asari dialect. We need a lot of ancient Asari writing to translate. Would this collection of Asari matriarch writings help? Uh, yes. Yes, it would. Okay, it's auto-translating. Let's see. Oh no. The technology falls under an existing patent. I can't actually access the schematics without a license from, let's see, Elkos Combine? How did you even? Well, this is great. Okay. Here you go. Hope this helps you build that dark energy device. Anyway, good luck fixing the Metagel dispensers. I'll just be here. Not touching anything. Weren't you running a shelter for war orphans on Ilium? Yeah. It was doing well until the Reapers attacked. Ended up spending most of what I had left getting the kids off world. I'm sorry if that was... No. You did the right thing. Thanks. You doing okay? I'm doing great. Listen, can I ask you something, though? Do you really think you'll defeat the Reapers? We'll defeat them or we'll die trying. There's no other option. Yeah, okay. Listen, another question. Do you really think you'll defeat the Reapers? You just asked me that, Conrad. Sorry. I like to ask all the questions I can think of, and sometimes I forget which ones I've asked already. I should go. Seems this place is hard-pressed for supplies. I think I saw some guys fighting over a thermal clip. A what? A thermal clip. They stop weapons from overheating. Sorry. Just a joke. Wait. Where do these thermal clips come from? I thought weapons cooled down. They used to. After the Geth attack a few years back, we switched to thermal clips. Well, that sounds like a major step backward. It lets guns fire with more power, and soldiers can pop in a new clip instead of waiting for the gun to cool. Fine, sure. You can still wait for your gun to cool down on its own, though, right? Well, no, the in-gun cooling tech was sacrificed to make room for the thermal clips. Okay, that's just... <laughs> you might as well be going back to limited ammunition. It's not ammunition, Conrad. I just don't think it's a very good idea. I'll be sure to let every military organization in the galaxy know that. Did you lose anyone back on Earth? No. I mean, extranet friends and such. But I don't really have any family left. What about your wife? Mm. Conrad, do you even have a wife? Oh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Well, no. But see... Conrad, if you have some kind of weird shrine of me, I am going to be very unhappy. It's just a poster with a few candles. It's very tasteful. Gah! 
Shouldn't you go repair that medical station? I mean, people are dying, right? Shouldn't you go repair that medical station? I mean, people are dying, right? I have your footage. Thank you, Commander. I'll start editing it right away. Pressure's okay. No infection so far. Can I talk to him? Only if it's important, Commander. He's hurt bad. Take down the sedative a bit, but hurry. I peg his survival at 50-50. Are you Gorek? <sighs> Go away. Nothing to say. Not even what a terrorist's doing on the Citadel? You! Do I know you? <coughs> Every Batarian with someone on Aratok remembers your face. The planet that got caught in the Alpha Relay explosion. You butcher the colony. Only regret. <coughs> Don't have the strength to. <sighs> I destroyed Aratot's relay to stop the Reapers from pouring through. <coughs> Easy for you to claim now that they're here. Don't pretend you have any remorse. No one here would even be alive if I hadn't destroyed that relay. I spent months taking heat for Aratot from both the Alliance and the Batarians, and you know what? If it saved the entire galaxy, I can live with that just fine. Then why don't you... <laughs> then why don't you get rid of another Batarian for your... Precious galaxy. <laughs> Shut down this machine. Just let me die. Hey, Commander. James, enjoying yourself? Yeah, yeah. Try not to lose everything. Those clothes are Alliance property. Have a little faith, Lola. I have a little. You just gonna stand there and watch? You're kind of making me nervous, Commander. I'd ask him to deal you in, but I think they're afraid of you. Listen, please, we just need more food. I can give you the location of some ruins. Prothean ruins, on Gay Hinnom in the Hades Nexus. If you could get past the Reaper patrols, nice. I'm sure you'd find something valuable. That's got to be worth something. Please, my family is starving. Nice! Knowles, this is where the last access code was used. What's that, Commander? I'm losing your signal. Shepard. Balak. You should have killed me on that asteroid over Terra Nova. I've been waiting for this. Everything that has happened to my people is your fault. All I did was stop you at Terra Nova. Yes. After you ruined my plans, my government accelerated research efforts on the Leviathan of Dis. Have you heard of it, Commander? The ancient organic dreadnought my people recovered from Jartar 20 years ago? Sound familiar? A Reaper. Your people were studying a Reaper corpse. Yes. Looking for a way to reclaim our place as the true power of the galaxy. Hundreds of our best scientists were enlisted. And then they became indoctrinated. When the Reapers reached Karshan, our own people betrayed us. 
Defense grids were deactivated. Ships fired on Allied targets. We were destroyed from within because of you. I didn't destroy your people, Balak. The Reapers did that. We were a proud race. A beautiful race. Have you seen what the Reapers have done to us? I'm trapped on this citadel. Our warships only know the locations of Reaper forces because I've tapped Council transmissions. I am the highest ranking military officer left in the hegemony, and I can't save my people. But I can end. Balak, you sent that asteroid toward Terra Nova to help your people, but what does killing me accomplish? Vengeance. The Bahawk system. They would have died anyway when the Reapers showed up. You know that. I am uniting the Krogan and the Turians. We're the best hope for this galaxy. If you care about your people... Ah! Our ships are yours. Shepard, are you all right? Fine. You won't have any more trouble with those codes. Is that... Do you want me to arrest him? I want you to put a bullet in his head. We're all making some sacrifices today. Let him go. Spectre authority. Understood, Commander. And thanks. Son of a bitch. Kinda killing my mojo here, Hefe. I was up a minute ago, you just came by at a bad time. You just gonna stand there and watch? I fixed the sabotage. The Metagel dispenser should be working now. Thank you. I'll get patients moving through triage immediately. Great work, Shepard. And listen, I'm sorry for... Hey, that's him. That's my Cerberus contact. Hey, hey, you! You're under arrest. Shepard, did I help? Yeah, Conrad, you helped. I don't even feel anything. Actually, I sabotaged his gun. It might have looked like it fired, but that was just the thermal clip overheating. Hi, Commander. It's me, Jenna. You helped me a few years ago when I was working undercover at Cora's Den. And now you're volunteering here. Right. Chalik showed me a few little tricks when he had me working undercover. Guess that paid off, huh? You... you saved my life! I can't believe you were willing to lay down your life for Commander Shepard. You're so brave. Oh, the Commander and I go way back. Let me give you a hand, and I can tell you about it. Thanks for checking in on me. It's nice to see you. Thank you, Commander. I'll start editing it right away. Status recognized. Please select a destination. One moment, please. Now arriving at docking bay D24. Have you discovered a way to run FTL spaceships without an ESO core, Private Talavi? No, ma'am. Then consider this a serious assignment. Intel's expecting a Cerberus raid. Cerberus? Cerberus? They're a problem? I thought we were fighting Reapers, ma'am. Give it a week. You could be. Ma'am, I had a 
friend in security at Sonax, and there was definitely Prothean Tech on Garvug. I know the Valhallen threshold is Reaper territory now, but Prothean Tech could help the cruise. Yes. Yes, ma'am. Yes, I'm aware this is an unsecure channel. Ye yes, understood. Thank you, ma'am. Shepard. I don't know what to say. I'm trying to go over everything in my head. Make sense of it. Your bandages were still fresh. How did you end up working with Udina? You saw me in the hospital. I was going crazy. Felt like I was letting everyone down. When Udina offered to make me a Spectre, I thought it was a chance to do some good. I couldn't just sit back and watch either. Yeah. But it sure turned into a mess. I never wanted to put you in that situation. We're on the same side. Well, that'll be the first and last time I wave a gun at my commanding officer. We stopped Udina and got to walk away. That's the important part. I can't believe he was responsible for all of it. Was he indoctrinated? It's hard to say. How do we fight something that can worm its way into your head? I don't know, but we don't have a choice. I wanted to talk to you about that. Hackett asked me to join his team. It's a great offer, but I'd prefer to ride this thing out aboard the Normandy. Permission granted, Lieutenant. Just keep your gun pointed at the Reapers, okay? I'd prefer it, thanks. Grab your gear and find a bunk, Williams. Aye, aye, Captain. And Ash. Yeah? It's good to have you back. Yes, ma'am.